Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Um, doing something a little bit different today. We're going to try and do an IRL stream. I don't really do much of this. I'm usually gaming or doing something else. So hopefully the microphone is working and the lighting's good and the framing's okay because I spent the last half an hour, you know, trying to get it right. So if it isn't good, then what can we do? And it's auto-focusing. That's all right. So I wasn't planning on streaming today, um, but I decided to, on the way home, from doing my, my fortnightly shop, sometimes it's monthly, it depends on how well it goes, well I thought, you know, I'm living on myself on a budget, um, you know, government payments and stuff like that, so I thought to myself, I might as well, you know, show the world what I personally get from Woolworths um, for $70, and yeah. I thought it might be interesting to just go through it and, you know, maybe there's people uh, around the world somewhere else that, you know, different foods, different types of prices and stuff like that. I've got the receipt here, so I'll be going through and pricing it out. Uh, it's a little over 72, but we're not going to include the Red Bull that I bought because that's, it goes over budget, but it was like 275 for the Red Bull. Uh, yeah, so we're going to start with veggies today and then make my way through to like unnecessary items and stuff like that. But it's just kind of like, kind of like something to kind of, I don't know why I'm doing it. It's just kind of like a comparison. Um, yeah, and obviously, you know, like I'm not vegan. I'm not um, gluten free or anything like that. So obviously everybody else's thing is subject to change and stuff like that. So this is just... This isn't like a, you know, a diet thing that you're supposed to follow and like that. This is just me, what I do, and how I shop to save money if I'm, you know, on a budget, etc. So, um, yeah, I guess we can I'll do an introduction, even though I've already started that. I'm the Dryad. I use it for gaming and stuff. Welcome. If you're watching, welcome if you're not. I tried to set up a bit of microphone, so sorry if it sounds like I'm yelling. I just... My phone's like $75, so this is the best we can get right now. Mm. And I can sort of see chat, but we'll give it a go. Alright, so it's going to be a short one today, obviously. Like, there's not much... <laughs> there's not much uh, content I can make out of a $70 shop, because it is one bag full. I'll get the bag up that I brought at home in. <coughs> So usually when I'm going to the shops, I don't have uh, access to a vehicle at the moment. My motorcycle battery is uh, empty and it needs a service. And yeah, it's just good exercise to go and, you know, carry the shopping home. Obviously if you're elderly or if you've got a disability of some kind, I would suggest carrying your own shopping. But, you know, if you're young and healthy and you can do it, then why not? It's uh, free exercise is the way I see it. So usually what I'll do is I'll head up to the shops. And I'll get about, you know, like a couple, I'll usually have like a budget set of like between 50 to $70. Seven is kind of like a pretty good shot for two weeks. I'll put someone in chat. What are you going to make with $70? Oh, welcome to the stream. Uh, sorry, it's hard to see a name from here. My phone is super cheap. Hello, Triple Two. Welcome to the stream. Uh, so I'm not specifically making anything. Also, let me know in the chat if you can't hear me because it is a, a cheap setup. So, what we're doing today is we're going to go through an Australian grocery shop and see what $70 gets us. Kind of like a budget shop and see if that, you know, compare it to the world or if anyone else, like, say, in America and stuff like that, they might get it cheaper. It'd just be interesting to compare, kind of like, you know, just show what it's like, like to get an average shop in Australia. It's not the most entertaining thing, but... You know, it could be interesting for uh, someone out there, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, um, I might as well get started. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with veggies, because obviously, you know, they usually end up as the cheapest stuff you can get for the bulk, unless it's like avocados or like something real fancy and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, what we'll do is we'll start with cheap vegetable items. Uh, so, yeah, obviously, a really good staple food if you're on a budget and stuff like that, or a student, or just don't generally have a big budget for food, is potatoes. Now, this is a kilogram of potatoes, but 
for another dollar you can get them cleaned, but you know, you, if you're on a budget and stuff like that, it's best to save money where you can. So obviously these are still dirty, but they're really easy to clean, you know, just hot water, no soap and stuff like that, just get them scrubbed down. And then you can either peel them after that if you don't want to have like that, or it's, uh, yeah, it's just all, all around great. You know, mashed potato goes a really, really long, a really long way. Alright, let's see what uh, Twiddle said. I like potatoes. Yeah, they're pretty good, hey. Um, when I get a little bit further, I'll also explain a really cool, cheap potato recipe that you can do. It's really good if you're on a budget, if you're on a student budget especially, because it involves two minute noodles. <laughs> Alright, so we got the bag of potatoes. Let's have a look if I can even find it on the list. It's obviously not in order of what I'm doing, so this is going to be fun. A pen, 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 pen. That's what I compared earlier. No, it's all nice. Give me a second, I'll be back. BRB. Potatoes. Okay, so for one kilogram of these potatoes unwashed, that is. Alright, I need a calculator. Oh, my phone's there. Great. Surely there's a calculator down here. Calculator, calculator. Alright, you guys can do the maths at home because I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Because I'm bad, I've already put it's, it, the register did it for me. So I'm just going to do the individual prices. You're welcome to double check if it works out to 70 bucks, but yeah. All right, so we've got the one kilogram of potatoes uncooked, uncooked, unwashed. It'd be funny if it can cook, that'd be nice. Uh, so that's three dollars. So three dollars for the one kilogram of potatoes, which, you know, can go pretty far with potatoes. You can just cook one in the oven and that can last you like a meal. Mix it up with some stuff. Um, all right, onto the next item. This was pretty cheap and I had to pick this up. Like obviously, this is with some specials and stuff. A lot of this stuff will be cheap normally because it's, you know, home brand Woolworths stuff. And this is from Woolworths as well. Just thought I'd mention, not from Coles or... They're the only ones I can think of right now. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so the next item is a kilogram of brown onions, unskinned, yeah, all that jazz. So this was pretty cheap, and it was on special, but usually they're not that expensive. But yeah, so it's actually cheaper than the potatoes, which is amazing, because onions can do so much more. You know, they can drive a car, potato, push bike, all that kind of jazz. Alright, so the brown onions per kilogram is a dollar. So for a dollar, you've got at least like a couple of meals out of that, and it goes a long way. It goes a long way for sure. All right, so I think that brings up to like $4. I'm bad at maths, I'll lose track. Please help me God. All right, up next we've got the baby leaf spinach. Now I usually get a bag of this over lettuce, because Lettuce is all right, but this is actually especially expensive at the moment. Like people are buying cabbages instead. I usually get like a bag of baby baby leaf spinach. It's a good source of iron, you know, Popeye, all that jazz. It's really good for you. Um, and you can mix that with pretty much anything, you know, put it on a sandwich or chuck it into like, you know, a dish of any kind or a salad or if, if you're into salad. I'm always hungry after I eat salad. Plus the way I think salad is like, a salad isn't like one big salad. It's a bunch of little, little tiny salads that you have to build up on your fork. That's what salad is. A bunch of little salads. Uh, yeah, good source of iron. Three bucks. So I think that brings us up to like, maths. Yes, maths. Math, maths, maths. Let's have a look, let's have a look. Baby spinach. That's in the bag. It popped on the way over because I just put it all in the bag and needed to reduce the mess. All right, let's have a look. We got nothing in order. It makes it very difficult. 
It's all very small as well. Ah, yeah, baby spinach. Bag of baby spinach, three bucks. We're getting through the veggies, people. We're getting through the veggies. Alright, up next. Um, I don't usually get this many, but it was pretty cheap for about five bucks, and this can go a long way with many different meals and stuff like that. But we've got white cap sliced mushrooms. You can get them cheaper if they're not cleaned or sliced, but you know, that's about five bucks for that. And that's pretty good. Um, the reason I got this is because later I'm going to serve up some carbonara sauce. This is really good to kind of build up meals, especially if you don't have as, as much meat, etc. To kind of build it up. Like this is budget food as well. I'm not making some fancy, fancy meal and stuff like that. This is just like bare minimum. It gets you through two weeks maybe of food. Unless you eat a lot more or have other people eating to feed. This probably, you know... <laughs> This is for big dishes. Um, good thing about mushrooms is you can eat them raw, you can chuck them on pizza, you can dry them out and turn them into like chip snacks, you know, cover them in salt, put them in your grill for a while, and that's a nice little little hint. But um, I'll be chucking them in a cabanara sauce, which will be coming up later. So maybe some bacon or maybe mince, maybe not mince, I don't know. I don't really plan my cooking, I just see what happens. Alright, cool. So the mushrooms, just double check. That there, so you can see them. Look at me and my mushrooms. Yeah, the thing with these, while they're here, there isn't much room to do anything else. <clears throat> I need a laugh track. Alright. Mushrooms, where's the mushrooms? Also, I will be doing some more IRL streaming in the future. This is just me playing around on a cheap phone. So it's pretty bad. Look, look, look at this. You ready? Look. Look at that. Look at that shutter speed. Terrible. It's my inside camera as well on my phone. It's even worse. Alright, what are we looking at? Mushrooms. There is a mushroom on the list for me to find it. There we go, mushroom cups. A lie, that's 550. But that can go a long way. It's probably cheaper to get other ones. Like I said, this is just an estimate. It's not exactly perfect. It's just a... We're just having a curious look at what an Australian can get for $70. You know? General stuff. I do have some lavish items, but we'll get to those. They're at the end. Not necessities. Most vegetables and stuff like this, you know, it's, it's, it's good to build up on those because then it will last a while. And you can kind of make different meals. Uh, so five fifty for the mushrooms. I'm just not mushroom left on the counter. Yes, I like bombs. No, I will not stop repeating them. Alright, so we're gonna get up to the canned food now. So this is where you're gonna save a lot of bucks. For sure. So one of the first things I always get when I go to the supermarket. It's cheap, it's easy. It is 700 grams of passata, which is just pasta sauce. I get the chunky one, because it gives you a little bit more <clears throat> in your pasta, you know. I would hate if I dropped that, because it would look like a murder. <laughs> um, and yeah, I usually get that, because pasta, I've, I've got pasta in the cupboard, which I bought ages ago. You know, you got like your nine, it's like 80 cents for like a bag of pasta, like a kilo. It goes a long way, you can get at least like four large, huge pasta meals out of that, and that'll, that'll last you for a while, you know. And... You don't even have to use this for pasta, you can chuck it on bread for pizza, you can chuck it on anything really. Anything that needs tomato. Anything that needs tomato. So uh, this is always my go-to because it's just it's just great. It works with everything, you know. It's cheap, it's easy, it gets it done. Now I'm gonna find it on the list, so I'll chuck it there so you can see it. I hope you can see all this. I've I've only got like a Passata. Alright, um, also if anyone follows and etc subscribes, I don't think I've got notifications on there, so if you are new to the stream and you've liked and subscribed or used any anything that my channel is usually set up, just know this is not on my PC, so I don't know if any of it works. If you do, please let me know in the chat and I will happily thank you, etc like that, you know. I'm just, uh, this is my first phone stream, so... I have a signal to get the streamlabs on my phone. <clears throat> Alright, let's have a look for this. 
It is. Just tell me everybody. I forgot how to read. <laughs> a census pasta sauce, 700 grams. So that was $2.15, so that's pretty good. You could probably get it cheaper somewhere else, or you could make your own from your garden, you know, if you grow tomatoes, but um, $2.15 for that. I can't see anything past this way, because there's a chat. Oh, it's kind of like faded, but... I'll, I'll take it down and show you like all of it together, so you can get like a general idea of how big it is. That's what he said. Okay. Uh, pretty closely related, not too special. Basically the same as that, but Italian diced tomatoes, can. So this is good for, you know, if you've just got normal pasta sauce and you want to make a thicker pasta, or just have some tomatoes in anything, it goes around, it's easy. It's just a can of tomatoes. Or tomatoes, tomato, tomato. Hey, tomato, tomato, who knows? Who cares? You got it. It's right there in your hands. Um, I was looking at the tomatoes today. I was going to buy like a bag and then I thought to myself, I wonder if I chop that up, would it even equal like a can of diced tomatoes? So I, I decided to go for the can instead. And it's usually better. It will last longer than, say, fresh veggies. And that also applies to, say, like canned potato, canned spinach, and canned mushrooms. Most of those will stay for a long time and will be useful in the apocalypse when it happens in, I don't know, two years. <laughs> don't reference me on that. Alright, up next, oh, I'm going to check the price. So, for a simple can of uh, dice, this was the cheapest I could find. It's cheap, it's easy, it works. Let's have a look. Diced tomatoes, I found that one straight away, 400 grams. So that's $1.20, so that's even cheaper than the passata sauce. But you can use it to build up the passata sauce if you're making a pasta. This is all subject to change as well. You could have your own personal dietary things. There's, there's no real science to this. It's just an interesting little video to see what it's like in Australia. For $70 at Woolworths, as of whatever the date is today, 22, 2022. But yeah, super cheap, nice and easy. So a dollar twenty for that. All right, so I spent. I went a little bit crazy. I could have. I tried to find a cheaper version, but this is you know your, your normal Dolmio white sauce, pasta sauce, uh, carbonara. I got it because I also got some um, some chicken slices. I think. Yeah. So. You can pretty much use this for anything really, you don't have to make it as like a carbonara sauce. If you're building like any other kind of like soups and stuff like that, you can put like a large teaspoon of this into it, make like a kind of like a more brothy kind of thing. It's hard to really put a definition on it, but it goes well. This with a whole bunch of chicken. Chicken breast is pretty cheap sometimes, so cut it up, you know, get it in there. I really don't have much to say about the carbonara. Carbonara, bruh. But yeah, this, this this is a little bit fancier than say what you could probably get cheaper. But it does the trick. What are we looking at, Domio? So yeah, that's three dollars fifty. So this costs pretty much the same as these two combined. You know, like tomatoes cheap. Alright, that's Domio Carbonara. 350. Um, another good thing you can do is, if you don't like carbonara, uh, get some pasta bake, and a full can of this stuff, it is, it's really, I forgot I could hold shit up to the camera. So this is just your Woolworths Essential, 425 grams of tuna chunks in oil. It's up to you if you want to use brine, or I prefer the oil because it's good for the cooking. Um, this and a can of pasta bake. That's all you need, and you can make a huge oh, and some pasta, obviously, and some cheese if you if you want to chuck it in there. But you get the tuna, right? There's a little trick that I use when I'm cooking a pasta bake. You cook your pasta, and then you know rinse it and put it to the side using the same pot. 
chuck this whole can in there, including the oil, and just kind of like simmer it and like, you know, cook it a little bit, just simmer it. And then as that starts to thicken, then you start adding some other ingredients. And then the oil not only kind of like deep fries the fish and comes like a like an oily nice, a nice oily kind of pasta base. Trust it cooks in nice, it doesn't come out like super oily. And it also thickens instead of like separating from the water because usually the oil will separate from the water with your meal and at the end you've got like you know oil on top. Because this is kind of like infused with the fish protein, it will kind of bind with water easier and that way you can make a thicker pasta sauce, pasta bake. Um, and yeah, cook it cook it first and then you know mix all the other stuff in there and the oil kind of like deep fries, stir fries the stuff before it gets chucked in. And then you know, pasta sort of pasta bacon, cheese. And yeah, so like I highly suggest that. And it's a really good source of omega-3s, so you could just eat it normally, do whatever. It's kind of a budget thing. Alright, let's have a look at how much that was. They're usually pretty cheap. You can get smaller versions, obviously. Let's have a look. I'm looking for my tuna. Come on, where's the tuna at? Oh, there we go. Alright. So yeah, and 400 and something grams, three bucks, goes a long way. All right, last canned thing, uh, vegetable stock. This is the powdered kind. You can also get liquid for a little bit cheaper, but the powder can go a little bit a long way. You can also use it for like uh, fried or crumb chicken. Mix like a, a few, a little bit of this in there with the vegetable stock. And deep fry, chuck it in the oven if you want. It's, it's an all-rounder, nothing too fancy, just your... Yeah. Vegetable stock, I've got the powder because I've also got housemates that we kind of share the stock, which is, yeah, it's nice, it goes a long way, especially if you're making pastas or any budget large pasta meals. As you can see, I make a lot of pasta because pasta just it fills you up and it's cheap, <laughs> you know, like it'll last a while. If I make a big pasta dish, you know, it, it'll last me like three days, three or four days if I want, you know, the leftovers and stuff. Freeze it for when you're not so able to get food. This is just a representation. All right, uh, this is probably a little bit pricier than the um, actual uh, liquid stock, but you will get more of a time out of this for sure. So I don't know if you can see that. Check it there. I don't even know what this is called. Stock powder, muscle. All right, so muscle stock powder. 275. It's good for big broths or just anything, even a, even a slow cooker. Alright, so that's all the canned stuff out of the way. Kind of getting through it. Um, uh, that's a luxury item for me. Uh, so we're gonna try. We're gonna start with the dry foods, and obviously, two minute noodles. These aren't Maggie, these are just home brand two minute noodles. Beef, you can have chicken or whatever. I suggest beef because, yeah, it's a good staple. I mean, you can also buy pasta noodles and make big fucking pasta dishes and stuff with that, but this is great when you want something quick and easy. I'm sure there are many countries around the world that will have some kind of cheap version of noodles that you can get. Uh, there's not much I can explain about this, but Budget tip if you're a student or something like that, especially if you like potatoes, by the way. Um, a little trick is what you do is you get your potatoes, you clean them, um, you skin them if you want. But what you do is you boil up some water and then you get ready to mash them. So you boil them to a point where they're ready to be mashed. But instead of mashing it straight away, you get one pack of noodles and the salt stuff. And then you chuck it in with the potatoes before you mash them. So this is a cool little thing you can do. So you chuck this in like two minutes before you mash, obviously cook the noodles, and then you leave the noodles in and you mash, uh, obviously add a bit of butter and some salt, um, and use the salt from the two minute noodles, chuck that in, it's just extra big flavor. 
you have faith if you want, but this is budget stuff. Um, and yeah, and then you mash that together, right? So you mash the potatoes and the noodles in the same pot. So you've got mashed potato noodle kind of blend. And it like, then what you can do is you can either like eat it like that, it's okay. But a really cool thing you can do is because it's got the noodle starch in it and it's got the starch of the potatoes, it's kind of like makes like a really good bond. So what you can do is once you mash it up, turn, you make little like little uh, bowls of the potato thing. It's basically gnocchi, but cheap people gnocchi. Cheap gnocchi, alright? So you smash that up, you get it going, and then you roll it into a bowl, like the potato noodle mix, and then you preheat the oven, and then you cook them in the oven, right? So they're like golden brown. You can put a bit of oil, or like, you can crumb them with something if you like, something easy, you know, a bit of vegetable powder. <laughs> Could work. Um, yeah, and you cook them in the oven so they're nice and kind of crispy on the outside. And then you've got like nice gnocchi, I guess, yeah, like potato pasta bowl things, you know. You can dip them in sauce so you can take them to work or school and, you know, just munch on them. That's just a cool little recipe that I use sometimes. It's it's not that special, but I like it. Alright, let's check it out. Noodles. And everyone's essential, obviously, is bread. Um, this hasn't been on the shelves the last couple of times I went shopping because, you know, the pandemic and stuff has really affected it. Obviously, every country has their own version of this. This is just home brand bread. It doesn't really have a brand sort of thing on the back. Super cheap, white, essential. Doesn't have to be, it's really up to you what kind of bread. Um, yeah, and that just gets me through. I got two. There's the cheese in there. Um, I got two. I freeze one and I use one just in case because bread, you know, you can never tell when bread's going to go off. So I usually get two of those. So let's just send it up. bread. It's funny, like, even though I'm... There we go, essential sandwich. So, $1.55 for your cheap bread. $1.55. I got two of them, so... $3.10 for two, two bits of bread. Two bits, two things of bread. I'll freeze one, save one for the rest. All right, we're gonna go up to some meat and dairy. So, like I said, this isn't vegan or gluten free or anything like that. This is just my personal thing. You don't have to follow this. This is just a general curiosity thing. You know, I'm not writing it down for science. Uh, yeah, pretty easy, and yeah, I totally lost what I was talking about. All right, next item we're going to go through is eggs. You know, they're an excellent way to have a quick meal or something for breakfast and stuff like that. You can, you know, it's egg. You can cook, like, all sorts of shit with egg. I'm pretty bad with it. Oh, this is going to be messy. Um, yeah. Eggs. I don't usually get them, but for a budget meal, you know, you can have one egg on a slice of bread. Easy done. Nice and quick and easy. Or you can chuck it in stuff, fry it up. I don't have bacon here, but whatever. Alright, so eggs, obviously 12. It says, it says caged eggs. I'm a horrible person. You can get it for more expensive if you want to be humane, but... I don't really see the difference. They just say whatever they want on the front <laughs> of most products, so whatever. Uh, yeah, so 12 eggs. Let's have a look at how much that is. As you can see, I have excellent vision. Uh, bing, boom. Oh yeah, the, the noodles were two bucks, by the way. Two minute noodles, two bucks for five. Where in the hell are the eggs? 
things. Did she charge me? Oh, there we go. So 12 pack of eggs, 420. That's pretty good. That works out to like 420 divided by 12. And I'm not going to do that maths because I'm lazy. And I, I, I hate maths. All right. All right, so we're starting with our dairy and meat section. So up next, what we've got is, I can't show you things, I've got to keep them thing, is one kilogram of honey soy wings from the deli. Uh, so you could go to your deli and, you know, pick up, like, you could go to like your normal meat section where it's like pre-packaged and stuff like that and get some chicken wings and honey soy barbecue separately. It'll probably cost you a lot. Your deli is usually a really good deal to, you know, get like bulk stuff like this. It's fresh and, you know, you can choose a specific amount, which is good. This was $7.50 for a kilogram of honey soy. Uh, yeah, chuck them in the oven. Roast them up. This is probably a bit of a specialty item, um, but it's good for snacks as well if you want to have a quick little little nibble on something, etc. So set as a kilogram of barbecue honey. Sorry, kilogram of honey soy barbecue wings, chicken wings. Not much else to say about it. Bits of protein in there, etc. This is not a vegan shop. I'm not a vegan. Not a vegan. If I was, I would tell you. <laughs> All right, let's chop that off the list. I saw a chicken. So I lied. It was seven fifty a kilogram. This is six dollars. This is seven dollars. So obviously, less than a kilogram. <laughs> I'm not pedantic. All right. <clears throat> Still on the milk and dairy. You can get a block of this, like a, a kilogram, no, a 750, I have no idea. You can buy this in the block, it's an all-rounder, it's pizzas, it's cheese, it's cheese, it's, it's just cheese, <laughs> shredded cheese, I'm running out of things to say about groceries. It's legendary, for sure. Uh, obviously not vegan. I don't know if it's gluten free. Doesn't really. It's vegetarian. There you go. Vegetarian. Yeah, so I just get that. You can, you can put it on anything, makes anything taste good. Even, even just, just bread and cheese. Bread and cheese. Pretty nice, pretty easy. So, yeah. no, I'll hold you up. Okay, you hold me up with my strong bones, you, I'll hold you up every once in a while. Alright, let's have a look at the cheese. How much was the cheese? I'm gonna get the cheese! Yes, I'm trying to think of cheesy jokes to say, but I can't think of any. Um, shush, where is the cheese? It's, did they not charge me for the cheese? Surely they charged me for the cheese. I was wondering what was happening with the price. Like I should have gone over 70. I should have been over 70 for sure. White foot cream milk. Oh wow, they legitimately they didn't charge me for the cheese. Wow. Well, I think it was $7. I'm sorry. I didn't get charged for the cheese. But that kind of works it out. I think. Or I'm, I'm just blind. I'm blind. I'll find it later. Cheese. Yeah. Cheese. Yeah. Cheese. Okay. <laughs> Almost done. It's going to be a short stream today, but you know, whatever. What have we got next? Uh, dairy still. Um, full cream, long life milk, one liter. Good for coffees, it lasts ages, it's cheap, it's easy. It's good for teas, coffees, cooking, your knees, because it's good for calcium. Yeah. Easy done, we've got milk. 
this will last me a while, one liter, but obviously if you like milk, you can get more. There's cheaper options, there's more expensive options. This is my first attempt at this, so obviously it's not going to be great. But we're getting through it together, aren't we? I sound like a TV presenter who didn't get a script. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look. Milk. Full cream milk. One liter. $1.60. I get full cream. You can get whatever you want. It might be the same price. Long life. Long life. Uh, alrighty, so now we're gonna get the kind of like, like, like I kind of like, this is kind of like specialty items that I get myself, because I like it. Um, mayonnaise. I love mayonnaise. You should too. No, I'm kidding. You love whatever you want, but I recently changed from normal mayonnaise to whole egg mayonnaise. I didn't know whole egg was a thing. Like whole egg mayonnaise, they use the yolk and the outside, but it tastes a little bit different, but it's good. I put it on everything, you know. I put it on my plants to grow them higher. I use it as sunscreen, lubricant, whatever you need, you know. It's an all-round thing, not just a food item. It's mayonnaise. <laughs> I was kidding about most of those things. It's just a, it's, it's a going joke with me with mayonnaise. I've made a few memes on my TikTok about it. It's uh, it's one of my favorite things. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so whole egg. This was on special. Let's have a look at the mayo. Hey, hey yo, I got mayo. Whole egg mayonnaise, 440 grams, $3.10. You know, you can get tomato for cheaper, but treat yourself. Get some mayonnaise. Alright. Um, I'll do the food first and then the drink. So, I always get this home brand beef lasagna, because lasagna is the fucking best food that you can eat, because, like, even just this, this is 400 grams, right, look at the size of it. This is my head. I have a big head. That's two meals for me, like, 200 grams of lasagna, you're done. Garfield knows what's up. Fuck Mondays. Uh, and that, these, are, these are really cheap, frozen, keep it in the freezer. It's lasagna. Don't forget to put mayonnaise on it. Alright, uh, lasagna. Lasagna. 400 grams. $2.50, which is... That's pretty good. It's like $1.25, 200 grams. $1.25 for a meal? Yes, please. Beef lasagna. Home brand Woolworths. I'm... Running out of energy. I haven't eaten yet, so I have to go shopping. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Beef lasagna, 250. Got the other frozen shit. Alright, so this is a little bit out of what I would usually get. This is a specialty item, it's a bit of a treat for myself, but 4 and 20 with beef pies. I saw it. I had to have it because it's cheese and beef. Yes. You know what goes well with beef and cheese pies? I don't, I don't need to say it, do I? Mayonnaise. Uh, usually I, there is a cheaper version of this that you can get for like 4 to $5. Dollars. And yeah, you get a lot more pies in it. They didn't have any of those budget ones left, so I got this. I might win a PlayStation, there's a competition, but look at my phone. Yeah, so that's a bit of more of a pricey item. I don't usually get this kind of stuff, but it, uh, I needed some pie, you know. I can't deny that I like pie, but you like pie too, and that is the truth. That's a weird rhyme I made a couple of, a couple of years ago. Just, just, uh, just, mods, mods, cut that out. That, that'd be great. Alright, see how much the expenso pies are. Expenso pies. 4 and 20 beef pies. They're 700 grams. Wow, that's, that's not as much as I thought. 700 grams. So yeah, 525. 
that's a bit pricey. You could probably get so much more for 525 in regards to pies and stuff like that. Shelves are dead with most cheap shit, so I want a bit fancy with that one. But yeah, 420 pies, 525. 425. 420 pies for four. Shit. 420 pies for 425. Nailed it. And you know what else? Oh yeah. And don't forget, if you have a pie, put some mayo on it. Mm. Nice. Alright, last things we're going to go through will be the drinks. These aren't really essentials, but you know, I need me some liquid. I don't really eat sugar. As you can see, none of the food items here I have are sugar. This is subject to whatever dietary etc. stuff that you do. I, I'm not vegan. I don't have any food allergies except strawberries. Don't send them to me in the mail. Um, yeah. As you can see, there isn't any sweet food. I don't really eat sweet food. I'm kind of a meat eater when it comes to that stuff. And I drink most of my sugar. Hence the reason mango nectar. This was expensive because of inflation. But vitamin C and mangoes. What makes a mango? A tree. Okay, cool. Let's move on from that. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. How much was the mango nectar? So this mango nectar, which is how many liters? Two liters of mango nectar, four ninety. You can get whatever juice you like. I just like mango nectar. Yeah. All right. That's the second last item. The last item, I I splurged a bit, got myself something special, but I got some. Uh, anyone in America will know this place, Arizona. Arizona, as to beach flavor, it's. An American company, family owned and operated. Black tea with beach flavor. It's just a bunch of iced tea. But I like the Arizona one, they taste really good. Arizona, it's it's 1.5 liters. That's why it makes me look so small. Oh god, I look tired. Alright, um, yeah. Arizona, iced tea. That's our last item. I can't include the Red Bull. It's outside budget. All right. So I haven't been tallying all this up, but this thing here says total like 70 bucks. So let's have a look at the iced tea. One, dollar, two, three, fifty. No, one point five. All right. So the Arizona tea is four bucks, three ninety-five. I, I wanted it. I got it. Alright, so that's the last item. Uh, my housemate's about to walk in and be on the stream, which I don't mind. But, alright, I'm going to move all of this into the middle of the table. And we can have a final look at what $70 worth of food looks like from Australian Woolworths. As of 22, 2022, whatever. the table after this. Alright, get that out of the way. Alright, so I guess I'll put the tallest items back. Obviously. Liquids over here. Hopefully shit doesn't block out whatever. I'll be moving the camera so you guys can see. Onion. Sweet tuna. It's really all the kind of 
Turn this stuff off so I'll put it on your back. Just pile it up. Don't forget this spinach, which is. So, that is pretty much it. Hey man. <laughs> it's great. I just got really bored on the way home and I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna do an IRL stream and show the world what $70 worth of Australian shopping looks like. $70? $70 worth. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I was just like, yeah. That's yeah, a pretty man. good shop for the $70. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Budget, yeah. obviously. Super budget. Yeah, yeah. A few specialty items. That's alright. Alright, so yeah, that was it guys. I've gone through the list. I'll show you like a full thing of what it all looks like so you can get like a size comparison. I'll put, I'll put my keys there. Oh, you can't see half of it. Yeah, that's the chat. I've got, um, I think I've still got someone in chat. No, I just mean the half of the stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's because I was doing it this way. Now I'm going to show everyone the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Alright, now let's switch the cam. I'll oh, we'll just do it this way. Uh, alrighty, so. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I'm gonna switch the camera around because it's just the easier freaking thing to do. Alrighty, so. From Woolworths, Australia. Uh, Western Australia, just to be precise, this is $70 worth of shopping. Also, this is not a vegan or any other thing, kind of diet restricted meals or anything like that. This is subject to change, obviously. This is just a comparison. You can put whatever you want in and out of it. This is just an interesting little stream to... Yeah, see what this is like compared to, say, other countries around the world, or states, or places. I mean, it's a budget shop, 70 bucks. Alrighty. And that's it. I just hope I can last off that for two weeks. Yeah. Let's turn this back around. Oh, there we go. Alright, well, I'm going to end the stream there. It's a short one. It's just a little fun idea I thought I would do. Um, yeah. Thanks everyone for coming by. I'll see you in the next one. Adios. Peace.